hello once again i'm mangesh and yes in this video uh, i'm covering mer statements which is a dml one uh, mer is a dml statement it used to merge two tables into a database and it performs update query if rows are exist and it will perform insert if it is a new row so little bit definition is quite hard we will see it practically first and uh, let's go to my excel sheet because it will give you the proper view so uh, in this you can see a left hand side one emp table and another one is a copy emp table though we have a same column in both table but data uh, is little bit different uh, first of all under emp table i have emp id emp name department id and salary and uh, first three records 101 102 103 which is present in first table from 104 and 105 what happens these two records are available in this table also and uh, there is a one more table available in my database and someone trying that entry uh, new entry is also available here but after 104 all uh, data is available in my copy mp table so the problem is what uh, uh, these two tables are uh, we can easily merge because uh, we can keep only emp table and in excel it is very easy because only this uh, particular columns you can cut from this table and you can paste over there in first table and you can delete that entire table also but how uh, we can do we can perform this thing in oracle database and oh, output obviously output i required like this because 104 available in, and 105 available in port table i don't want duplicates again in my table in my output so for that uh, we will use merge statement properly so duplicates will get uh, uh, it will not allow in the output and unique records will come in the picture as well so how to use merge statements that we are going to cover so yes uh, we are going to merge this table into this so let me start writing my sql query merge into emp e i have given e as a uh, table analysis to emp table using copy empc it means you are merging copy emp table into uh emp table and yes first of all you need to give some condition so my first condition is this on uh, e dot emp id is equal to uh, c dot emp id okay and uh, when this condition matched when this condition match then update set so whenever uh, that condition is matching then uh, it will perform update and what it will update it will update the same value it means to say that employee name is equal to emp name both employee name should be same e dot department id is equal to c dot department id both department id should be same e dot salary is equal to c dot salary and that salary column should be same so with the help of this what will happen till uh, here you can easily merge it and same records this will automatically replace on this because you have updated same value because our condition is matching there but what about this new records this new records also i want in the output you can see here i my operation will done till here because because of update now when this condition is not matching because till here that condition was matching 104 104 105 105 and the record is also get in the output we have already received the output as well then uh, what about these new records what we can do for these new records so i will write down when not match then that on condition not match then insert values and then which value we required from another table that c c dot employee id c dot emp name c dot department id and c dot salary it will automatically insert so once you execute this you will get one uh, this is what your emp table under your copy emp table is already merged uh, we can uh, do it practically also quickly uh, let me create a simple table okay. uh, i will give uh, select sorry create table e mp uh, one two three this is what table because in my table let me drop actually i have some table this name is emp now so okay uh what i will do is i will drop those tables permanently and uh, then we will create emp and copy emp and we will perform the same 
Mer statement in a two tables. So it's very easy how to drop table. You can use drop statement no? drop table EMP. Table drop. I want to drop that EMP one also. I want to drop EMP two as well. And uh, I am using purge recycle bin. Whatever tables available in my recycle bin, those will also gone. Select star from app. Okay. Now I will create one EMP table. Create table EMP one. Only EMP. And in it, I want EMP ID. I want EMP underscore name. I want salary column. Putting only a few columns because number three where care to in and salary again number i am putting as a four okay i forgot to give comma here otherwise it will not get executed uh, this side we required one comma i will close that bracket here i have created one table okay similar way i have created emp uh, name i will give as a copy emp Two table I have created. Let's insert some records in EMP table. So insert into EMP. Okay, values. Let me add one zero one. Uh, I'm putting English. Then uh, employee name is Mungesh. Salary is a uh, uh, six thousand. I have put in. I have put 6000 over here. Let me execute. One record is inserted. 02. Let's give another name here. Okay. Um, thank you. 5000. Then I will give Sham. Okay. Oops. One, it, it's 102 actually. I suppose to add 103. It's okay, no problem at all. Uh, select star from EMP when I will do. I can see uh, RAM got added over here. And let me try to delete that 102. Okay. Uh, if I'll do the rollback, then all changes will go because I have not saved this now. See, rollback. Everything is rollback. If you do the select star from EMP, it will it already roll back everything. Okay. Uh, insert into EMP values. Okay. Uh, first record is a one zero one. Yes then uh, salary uh, 9000 i'm adding one row added two okay. uh, ram 8000 i have added okay 103 sham okay let me add 7000 okay and um, here I am adding uh, Ramesh uh, 5000 uh, Again some mistake is happening here Start from EMP Ramesh and Sham both have same uh, ID Okay, let me commit it first Otherwise, what will happen if I'll perform rollback? It will get automatically delete everything. So, uh, if you want to remove the remiss record, then what you need to do? Delete from EMP where EMP underscore name is equal to Ramesh. It is taking everything. That row is deleted.
Let's start from EMP. See, uh, 101, 102, 103. Mangesh Ramsham is available. Uh, let me add uh, 104 as a Ramesh and 105 as a Suresh. Ramesh and Suresh I have added in this table. Okay, uh, I want to add Ramesh and Suresh again in another table, and that table name is a EMP copy EMP actually. Copy EMP 104 uh, Suresh 5000. First, we'll add a uh, Ramesh 104 Ramesh 105 Suresh. And then 106 add another work name. Uh, let me add uh, Raj. Raj. We have 7000. 107. Add here 8000. See. Select star from EMP. Uh, let me. Uh, insert operation i want i don't want now so let's start from emp i have um, 101 to 105 all these records and another table is what select star from emp2 okay here i have what i have done copy emp actually my table name is a copy emp let me execute this one so these two records which is common in both table and uh, these are the unique one and uh, yes here also we have some unique records so what i need to do is i want to merge this copy mp table into this and i have one common column in the both table emp id emp id actually we require all column headings has to be common while merging whenever you're going to perform the merge so let me write down the query to merge these tables so see uh, merge into emp and you will give table analysis as a e and in it which table you want to merge i want to merge copy underscore emp uh, for that i will give column analysis as a c here i am giving condition also e dot emp underscore id is equal to C dot emp underscore id when this condition match then you have write down some logic over here so when match then what this condition when match then that time you need to perform update that time you need to perform update update set uh, what are the other two columns this all columns has to be same okay so set e dot e dot emp underscore name is equal to c dot emp underscore name comma c uh, e dot salary is equal to c dot salary okay and this is done till uh, here but what about the new records because in that table we have some new records also now so you need to write down when not match then that is also very important when this condition is not matched then what you need to perform insert values but values from another table so c dot emp id also you required c dot emp underscore name also you required and c dot salary also be required so while executing this one your merge operation will get successfully okay so it is showing me uh, some error because i have done some typo so let's find out uh, which keyword is missing so okay insert values uh, c dot emp id c dot emp name and c dot salary mm. okay let me try and execute again uh, it is again giving me the same error because uh, something is wrong over here let me remove this bracket and try it what happened with this yeah, it is saying some keyword is missing 
so this is right and pain match and this is also right a bit set okay uh, let me find out wh why this error is coming uh, just give me some time so i'll come with the uh, work around for this error okay guys uh, i'm uh, back when match then you have written and here you have done something wrong so i need to mention here when not match then actually uh, yes everything was good uh, still uh, it is not accepting that uh, not match then so insert values is also okay and update set is also fine so, um, let me remove this one actually and now see okay again i'm getting the same uh, it is saying missing keyword and that missing keyword is in insert values i'm getting some error so let me see what is available in my copy emp uh, copy emp table is this i have given the proper one select star from copy emp execute this and yes records are here this is correct emp id is here emp name is here salary is here and insert values update set okay uh, let me see what is a workaround for this error uh, i will find it out and um, i will share in the same video uh, okay guys uh, i got my mistake i have just write down over here match instead of this i need to add like this okay so let's try and execute this one and see what what is the issue uh, are we facing the same okay see the statement carefully and i think everything looks good and yes we have four rows merged and uh, it was wrong that we were not using this i was i was simply writing match match but it's a match okay and now see uh, in your emp table all those records are coming or not select star from emp look at this okay and these records are not replaced because uh, we have updated and this these two records came from that copy emp c o p u i copy emp if everything is good then you can easily drop this table also or you can also use delete statement also over here uh, so this is what the way you can use merge statement so but make this this is very important it's a very small mistake which i made in the query and due to which i was not able to get my output so in that workaround i found it and uh, due to typo i was not able to get this so it's working fine try same uh, practice at your database and be perfect in merge statement so this is the correct definition for merge merge statement used to merge two tables into a database it performs update if rows are exist the same way uh, we have used and it will the it will perform insert if it is a new row so in emp table think about the emp table so there were two records are already exist where update is works perfectly and then it insert a new row which was there in your new table so this is what about the merge one and in next uh, we will start with the ddl statements uh, with uh, their definition and few examples also we will see we already created some videos about the create one so we will not spend too much time just we will cover the definition and uh, the example which will which is there in the slide thanks for watching this video see you again